Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. We have episode six of season one of the Rings of Power on tap. Uh, this series has kind of faded a little bit into our hype background as uh, Game of Thrones and Andor have been on fire lately. That's not to say we haven't been enjoying the Rings of Power. It's just, I don't know. For me, at least, it kind of feels like it gets blended into the background of our uh, weekly uploads. So, but here we are. Yep. Um, we have the biggest, I think, thing going on here is Adar and his army are marching on the Watchtower. That would have been the end of last episode, if I'm correct. I think so. And they had the uh, torch at the top lit, correct? Mm hmm. Yep. The Watchtower lit up. Yep. Um, so I believe we're going to get a big battle in this episode, which That'll be I'm really sick. interested to see because, you know, Lord of the Rings battles always hit different. And mm -hmm. with this being a streaming series instead of a movie, I, but still a massive budget, I'm very interested to see how, um, how I guess, overboard they go with it. Is it going to be like the Witcher level? Is it going to be... Oh, I don't know, Battle of the Bastards level, or is it going to be somewhere in between, somewhere beneath The Witcher? I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, I'm antsy to see it. Same. So we also have Galadriel and the men of Numenor, the army of Numenor with the queen, um, sailing to Middle Earth. Right. Which, for some reason, they think 300 people is enough um and before they took off they actually had an incident at the port with one of their ships spontaneously combusting oh yeah yeah and spontaneously. Uh, a sealed door didn't snitch mm. interesting it was interesting um and i i guess i don't really know why we don't really know why at this point because when you think about it, he would have gotten on the trip on the on the crew, whether he ratted him out or not. So I guess maybe that was his decision making. He's like, oh, this is my sister's boyfriend. Like, I shouldn't have him beheaded. Um, yeah, that might uh might cause a rift. Right. So. Very interesting uh, going on there. We had. Uh, the dwarf, uh, du Durin, figuring out uh, the mithril plot from the elves by... You know, I guess he didn't really figure it out. He got it said to him. But uh, that's interesting. He I think he agreed the, to help, too. The elves home, like a like a furniture store. He walked yeah. in there like Ikea said, Hey, give me that table. He's, that was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Um. And then last but not least, we have the Hobbit storyline, which got a little weird. Uh, there's mm -hmm. that bald person with, like, a wizard, I guess, who found where Gandalf Sr. I forgot parked about his that. Bugatti. And, yeah, that was odd. And then, uh, we, as you called him, Gandalf Sr. Mm -hmm. um, fought off the doggos mm. that were gonna eat or maim the hobbits and he got injured his arm i guess where he uh hulk smashed the ground right so when he was healing it um nori comes up and she makes the mistake of grabbing his forearm that is rapidly freezing and mm. then her hand starts freezing but she gets knocked away we don't know if she's okay or not. Turns out she is, at least physically. She looks fine, but obviously she is uh, mentally shaken. Mm -hmm. um, and she runs away, which I probably would have done in that situation as well if I felt like I was going to be frozen solid. Yeah. So not entirely sure how that reaction is going to shake out other than she's probably now traumatized and scared of Mr. Senior. Um, and I mean, 
I, I just want to know where this arc is going. Because I, I guess I'm just not super invested in it. And I've said this every week. It's just kind of like filler for me. And that's always how the Hobbits have been. Um, and like, I, I want to see how it pays off, of course, because, you know, if this wizard is anyway affiliated with the school of wizards that Gandalf is from, if you even want to call it a school, then yeah, I'm really interested. But I, I'm at this point, I'm just confused. And every time they pop up on the screen, I'm like, uh, this again. Whereas the other three arcs going on right now are so investing and thrilling. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a filthy casual. Um, well, I think that's really it. That's all that happened. Am I right? Yeah, most of the uh, major stuff. I mean, I'm sure there are little things going on mm. that we either uh, overlooked or just forgot about. But Oh, Mm -hmm. there's uh the sauron sword i guess that's really more like a minor piece to the battle or and honestly it's probably the motivating factor of the battle um yeah. but that sword apparently un unlocks a a gateway or a, a door key. or something yeah it's a key um so i assume that's going to come into play at some point during the battle whether it means it gets used or whether it means um, it gets stolen. Like may maybe if they take the sword, the orcs take the sword, they'll retreat and leave maybe the people alone. But given what I know about orcs, I'm going to wager no on that one. Mm -hmm. But the possibilities are there. Yeah. So. All right, well, I'm ready to hop into, I don't even know how to say, Ud Udun? U Udun? Yeah, it has some type of accent above yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, know what that up arrow does. Udun sounds right to me. All right, well, if you guys enjoy this week's episode, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our other uploads going on during the week or next week's Lord of the Rings upload. I think we have either eight or ten Lord of the Rings episodes. So, you know, we're coming up on the end. We're in the, in the meaty part of the series. So if you guys want to be sure to check out our reactions for the rest of the season, uh, definitely, you know, hit that notification bell. We also have our full length reaction to this, which will be up and available over on Patreon shortly, reasonably after this episode. Um, we have our Discord. Our free Discord link is in the description along with the Patreon link. Of course, I forgot to mention that. Um, and yeah, we have links to our social medias, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. And let's get into episode six. All right. Half of us just left. Forgot about nipples having to kill nipples. One of the, <laughs> one of the civilians to prove his loyalty. I have just in to was that Theo's friend that he was going to have to kill? You're asking yep. me to go to the one okay. place that I swore never. Oh, oh, their armor is so sick. I know. Oh, dude, I thought that was a leg. Yeah, I thought there were some toes going no, into I was the like, dirt. Oh no, not a spider, not a, <laughs> not anything. Oh, this must be Adar. Ooh, ooh. Nipples. So, you think Nipples went through with it and killed the kid? Definitely. <laughs> we're gonna get to see some stuff dropped on their heads. Yeah, some confusion mm -hmm. dropped on their heads. You must see the... yeah. Nice shot. Is so that whole thing's about to come down? And he closed the door. Wow. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's bad luck. <clears throat> What a terrible way to die. It was quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh. So are they gonna fortify or booby trap the village now? Because not all I of guess. the orcs died. That was pretty crazy. 
yeah. thought it was a little weird that they would just abandon the natural choke point of the bridge. But I, w I didn't want I wasn't going to say anything out loud because I'm like, there's probably a plan here and it could be stupid, but it wound up working out. I thought they were calling for help with the uh, flame at the top. Me thought too. And they still probably could have been. Save their ass. But all they need is a Ron Deer and his bow. Straight up. A Ron Dad. Humility has saved entire kingdoms that are proud of all but led to ruin. Then for what did you join, soldier? She literally speaks in riddles, bro. Oh, he couldn't see that until just now? Cap. <laughs> He's got bad eyesight. Weird having all them just follow an elf after how much Tavern. Tavern's for wounded and children. I can fight. They beat up on the elves for years. This is why I need Come. Maybe Theo's Sauron. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Remember when I was little? New life. In defiance of death. That's exactly what Adar said for the last battle. Hmm. They were also planting the seeds at the beginning of the episode. Right. We saw how well that worked out. Mm -hmm. believed. Full send, bro. The rest. It's time. Been teasing us too long. That was over. <laughs> we're six episodes in. In a new garden. My bron. Bron deer. Bron deer shipper. Or maybe a Ron win. A Ron win sounds great. Yo. Come on. Lock up, baby. Lock up. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, King. Three episodes later, but. We take it. Better late than never. Right. Well, it's about to catch on fire. Well. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. It goes around, comes around. Yeah, so her bestie died because she couldn't spark a light with some flint. Shaking my head. <laughs> I love the way they just carry around that battering ram everywhere. Like they can't just kick down the door. Right. I freaking okay. love that track, dude. Yeah, it slaps. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder what they were on top Assassin's of the tavern. Creed. That's hilarious. Nice. Bro, where is his sword? <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Bro. <laughs> he's resourceful. Uh, he's gonna be sore in the morning. If he even sees the morning. <laughs> Down the well? Yeah, I was gonna say. Hit him with that belly to belly suplex, baby. Oh. Gonna drive it in deeper? Bro. Okay, he got it out. Ugh. Oh, dude. That is so disgusting. No. I mean, think about it. He would look really sick with one eye. Yeah, but I don't want to see it I don't either. take place. Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, there's a sword. Oh, well, she's dead. I do like the way during the battle they were uh, trading blows. Like people from both sides, you saw them die. Yeah. Didn't feel too one-sided. One thing I, I was a little weirded out about is like it seemed like that giant orc was just playing with his food. <laughs> like he had at least four chances to kill a deer. Yeah. Well, how'd they do that? Really? 
Like, oh yeah, we just killed a bunch of uh, people cosplaying orcs. Or just dolphin dove off the roof. Yeah. No. No. I need to cauterize the wound. Real. Ugh. <laughs> Bring me some burning wood. Mm. Hurry. A man of intelligence. An elf of intelligence. This is also going to hurt. Dude, that is so much blood. Yeah. Ugh. She really died after that. Well, that's depressing. They really okay, baited us. <laughs> yeah. I feel like she would have just passed out from like the extreme pain. I didn't think she would die like as soon as her wounds are cauterized. Yeah. That's what they need right now. Straight up. Calvary to roll up. Or ride up, rather. Gallop up, if you will. Another slow mo shot. The horse riding. Bro, there's just something about Lord of the Rings and cavalry charges that's just erotic. Well. So be it. Hopefully your theory is right, and they just leave. Sounds like there's some... Oh, those are probably the horses. That's sick. Yeah. The chain. Oh, oh no. Oh, buddy got caught up. <laughs> Leave it to the elves, dude. Always doing weird shit. Oh. He's gonna save his father just in the nick of time. Classic storytelling. Nice. Wow. Ah. The bait and switch! I'm all right. <laughs> he thought he dodged it. Commander of the Northern Armies. I love you. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ugh. One cannot satisfy thirst by drinking seawater. Literally riddles, bro. It was quite the analogy. <laughs> I will whisper in your piked ear that all your offspring are dead, and the scourge of your kind ends with you. Did she herself, with a piked I ear, just not the only insult him? For having a piked ear? Darkness. Seemed that way. Perhaps your search for more cause success huh. should have ended. It's weird to see his blood being black. Yeah, just like she said is her uh his poison heart. I take it. That's why his blood is black. Because he's been poisoned by the Uruk. Whatever it was he did to you. These cameras are fantastic. <laughs> Whatever it was you did. Yeah. Like, you can see their complexion. Every pore. I know. It's absurd. You can see little hairs on his nose. <laughs> Until today. Ah. Uh. I didn't know if I would do that with how that sword grows, but... Maybe the yeah. cloth is thick enough to where sketch. it won't matter. Yes. All hail! All hail! To the true king of the South Boots. All hail! 
That's tough. Yeah. I'm concerned. Watch it not be the sword. Ah, uh, he pulled a sneaky on him. Well, that's not uh, good. Oh, shit. Alright, let's see what the key is gonna open. It looks like it opened the dam. The flood the valley? Um... How does that work? Oh. Is this what causes the great wave? No, I think this is what makes Mount Doom. Oh, shit. The eruption, wow. So they dug a trench all the way there. Oh, That's so insane, oh, dude. Oh, he got deleted. Oh my god. That looks crazy. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the cliffhanger ending. And they hit us with the gas soundtrack. Oh my god. Best episode so far. Uh, wow. God, I wish Kojo was here for that one. Dude, yeah. Oh, like, okay. That is like the entire question that I had you know how did the Southlands turn into Mordor like that's it because I, I didn't I didn't know where like Mount Doom came from or any of that so definitely didn't know it was a super volcano yeah I guess you're right it was a great wave in a I way. mean I, I didn't even I wasn't thinking about Mount Doom at first until you mentioned it I was thinking mm. about how like if there's a volcanic eruption if enough um Debris goes into the ocean. It can cause like a mega tsunami, and I thought that was going to go across the whole ocean. Well, in theory, a super volcano eruption would cause an earthquake, which would then cause a tsunami if in proximity it was close enough to the ocean. Yeah, but I, I, I don't like, think that's going to happen because uh, they since they came across the sea to help, that makes the trees not cry. The, the petals, you, you know, that whole thing. Yeah, I don't know though, because she, uh, the queen was, or the king, the actual king was, you know, like don't go to Middle Earth. Mm. So, yeah. Wow. Um, I just cannot believe that just happened. Yeah, I was like, uh, because we saw when the dam broke and the water was coming down, and then when, like, the geysers started popping up out of the ground, I was like, what's going on? Um, because I know they have trenches underground, but I I'm wondering why is the water going underground? I didn't know they intentionally dug a tunnel all the way from there to Mount Doom, or what is now Mount Doom. To cause that explosion or eruption, rather. I mean, I at no point thought that that's what was happening. Me either. But it makes so much sense because we were like, oh, why are they building these trenches? I, I just assumed, and I'm sure you did as well, that that's how they were going to travel. Mm -hmm. At no point did I even think about, um, you know, they were digging a freaking tunnel into Mount Doom. Like, that's just insane. Um, yeah. And I'm sure at this point it's not even called Mount Doom, but the the catch about it all with me is um, 
well, now where did Adar go? Because like we saw right at the end, he wasn't in his chains anymore. So like, did yeah. he sacrifice himself? Like what, what happened there? So and my guess that's is just that insane. He would have ran away. I don't know to where, but I expect to see him again in the future. Mm. And as for Galadriel and everyone else there, I don't know how they're going to survive because that uh, molten volcanic ash was coming right for them. I would expect it to look like Pompeii at the beginning of next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, I, like you said, I don't know how they're going to live, but I know they'll find a way. Yeah. Just don't know what it's going to be. And I'm sure now uh, the king of the elves is like, oh, I am obligated to do something now. How did uh, the old guy, Sauron's servant, we, we nicknamed him Nipples. Uh, how, when mm. did he get the sword? hilt key um i don't know like i'm I'm fast forwarding through the uh episode and I, I just don't know i'm wondering maybe maybe if theo like because he knew where the sword was maybe he smuggled it to him or something Maybe that, that would be my thought. Or another thing that could have happened off camera is that um, Adar gave the key to the old man to hold on to in case mm. he got caught. I feel like that's less likely, but maybe. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure, but. It definitely, maybe that, that'll be something they explain in the next episode. Like, they rip it off at the beginning, just how he got it. But, I don't know. It might be in there somewhere, just hidden. Yeah. That episode was insane. Yeah. There was so much death on both sides. Mm -hmm. Like, man, the cavalry charge with the horses... That was sick. Galadriel doing the thing where she hangs off the side of it inverted. Um, I think one of my... Up until the eruption, my favorite scene before that was the horse chase through the uh, woods. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I like both of those things. I, I like nature and I like horses. And also the music... And just the way it's shot, kind of like everything in this show, the cinematography and the music, it's just 10 out of 10. And now they're hitting us with this. Like, not only was it a good episode um, on its own without even tying in to anything um, Mordor related, but at the end, it was just the cherry on top when we got that volcano. Mm -hmm. So... Um, my expectations were just kind of normal going into this episode, like just another episode of Rings of Power with Blake. This is going to be enjoyable, but I did not expect uh, to be feeling like this. After... I'm, I'm freaking amped. Yeah, same. Like, you know how I, I said in the beginning, like, it seems like our hype for this show has fallen behind Andor and fallen behind House of the Dragon. Now I'm sitting here. I'm like, I lied. Sorry. <laughs> like that that was insane. I just did not expect that. I did not see that coming. I didn't know how they were going to do it. And like it it crossed my mind before like, oh, how's Mount Doom a thing? If we haven't seen, you know, even a, a tall enough mountain that would be a volcano. But that, oh my god, that has me so hyped. So hyped. For the rest of the show. But that's I'm speechless now. <laughs> I got nothing else left to add. I was thinking maybe you are right about Theo um, giving the key to the old dude because mm. 
like he he takes it when it, it's wrapped up and kind of puts it up to his arm like he was going to use it again but maybe he just like he said he misses the feeling of it feeling powerful and that's why he gave it to him like the influence of sauron is just taking him over but yeah i i really don't know for sure and i'm very excited for next episode to not only see how everyone avoided getting charred but just <laughs> what's gonna happen like what are the consequences of this it, it looks like all hell is about to break loose so i'm here for it mm -hmm. all right well if you guys are as hyped as we are for next week's episode be sure to hit that like and subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so when our reaction to that drops you're notified the full-length reaction to this will also be available on our Patreon within a reasonable time after this episode. It should be up by the end of this weekend, but I'm kind of a bum sometimes. Um, we also have a free Discord that you can join. That link is in the description below as well with our Patreon account. And we have social medias, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram down there as well. And we will see you guys next week for episode seven. All right. See y'all then.